Hey guys, welcome to another uh, Pathways Wrap for another week. Uh, looking at the games just gone, uh, we saw all our junior rep uh, teams come to season's end. Uh, our Lisa Fiola program, which was a four game card this year, uh, they finished with a really tight loss and a really aggressive game against the uh, Tigers over at Leichhardt. Uh, that was two wins and two losses in that four game uh, program this year. So really excited to see where those girls uh, are going next year. Our Tasha Gale, uh, unfortunately, after leading the entire game, uh, lost 24 to 22 in a really great uh, hard fought contest against the Canberra Raiders. Uh, the girls are now finish up their season for the year. And in our mats and ball program, they both come up against the St. George Dragons on the day. Uh, our Maddies, who were chasing a win to stay in the finals hunt in a seesawing game, unfortunately went down 30 to 24 in that one in really wet conditions. And our ball uh, went back to back for the first time all year, stringing together two wins uh, to end their season on a high as well. Uh, the day was wrapped up with our Harvey Norm women's uh, getting a great win over the St. George Dragons uh, to now make them back-to-back -back winners uh, over the past fortnight. Over the next few weeks, we're going to look at some uh, certain features uh, as part of our Pathways wrap and some of the up-and-coming stars and some of the established stars uh, are part of our different Pathways teams. Who better to start with this week than uh, Jacob Gagai uh, coming into his eighth season uh, in both the Queensland Cup or New South Wales Cup, a very experienced player. But Jacob this year has started full-time training with our NRL squad uh, as he looks to uh, etch his own name in South Sydney history. Let's catch up with what Jacob had to say. Yep, uh, my name's Jacob Gagoy. Um, preferred position, sort of play anywhere in the outside backs, but I'd love playing for uh, centre, centre or fullback. Yeah, so I grew up in uh, Mackay, far north Queensland, and Born and raised there, done all my school in there, played all my juniors there at South Sharks um, Junior Club. So obviously my older brother was here at the time and um, I was sort of just doing my thing at Newcastle and um, yeah, got the opportunity to come to South. Yeah, I just fell in love with the club and everyone involved with it and staff and players and they were a bunch of uh, good boys so yeah, plan on wanting to stay on it stay for, for a very long time, yeah. Nah, it's been good. It's been good training every day and and the coaching staff that we got, like the Sandy Burgess and John Sutton, and obviously being coached under JD, Benny Ormby and Bomber, and that, um, learning something new every day. Pretty cool to be around working amongst those boys, and then obviously in the players, like the Cam and Cody and Trail, and all them sort of guys. And um, yeah, learn, learning a lot off them every day, and it's sort of just soaking it all in, getting a real buzz off it, and been loving it. Uh, Cody's been a big, probably a big, big inspiration of mine, so obviously, like, they say he like debuted later, you know, as they say he's still young obviously by 26 they say call it late in the NRL but you look at him now and you think he'd be playing since he was 19 so he's a, he was a massive role model myself the way he handles things off the field and obviously the way he plays on the field. So that was, that was one of the main ones is to lock in the contract for this year and then obviously get that debut and that's, that's the, the big goal. So. Sort of just take it day by day and just learn as much as I can off the players and the staff and just have fun doing it and take it all in to pull my best foot forward and hopefully them, them goals happen, so yeah. Great to hear there from Jacob and I uh, can't wait to see uh, what he does this year after uh, the experience training up with our NRL squad uh, as he continues to uh, try to get our New South Wales Cup season up and going as they look for back-to-back -back wins this weekend. That takes me to our games this weekend in Pathways for those looking for a footy fix. Uh, over the Easter break uh, on Good Friday. You can get out to Belmore Oval early uh, to watch our Jersey fleet up against Canterbury Bulldogs, which then gives enough time to uh, head over to Acor Stadium to catch our Curry New South Wales Cup uh, in the Curtain Razor, also up against the Dogs. And to wrap it all out for Pathways this week, on Easter Saturday, we have our Harvey Norman women's uh, heading out to Aubrey Keach Oval as they take on Mounties, looking for three straight wins in that competition. Uh, as always, please make sure you check our website out for kickoff details.